I wanted to know how my dad's story ended. After 15 years, I reached out to my aunt. It was odd because we hadn't spoken in so long, but one of the first questions I asked was how my dad died. She said that a few days prior to his passing, a priest from Mohawk Correctional Facility reached out to her and shared that my dad was dying from AIDS and that his family should come immediately. So my aunt and my grandmother, a woman who he violently attacked four years prior, traveled upstate. And when they arrived at the hospital, they saw that my dad was shackled to the hospital bed. Because he had breathing tubes, he couldn't speak, but when he saw my grandmother, he started crying. They spent the day together, and my grandmother told my dad that she forgave him. They then ventured back to New York City and a few days later, the priest shared with my aunt that my dad had passed away.